In COVID, the printing side took a big hit. Uh, the packaging side actually started growing, okay? Uh, with the consumption of food and then local manufacturing going up, uh, the packaging side actually started doing well. And the printing side, with schools being down and, um, and, and generally businesses not wishing to invest on, on print-related matters, obviously that took a big hit. So the focus turned purely on that. Um, and here we, we're looking at now centralizing some of our functions like sales and things like that. Um, and just making sure that rather than looking at our competitors and seeing that you know we're competing with people with low overheads, we're seeing what as a, a group of companies can we uh, put into our uh, uh, portfolio or or management that would set us apart and which family you know the the mom and pop shop kind of family businesses cannot compete with us right um, so examples of that are better use of technology um, our e-commerce site has gone live uh, for the first time we're starting to cater for you know niche markets like uh, cottage industry you know uh, home cooking home baking and and those kind of businesses have really taken off here yeah? okay um but they struggle to get printing and packaging so we've kind of developed a, a, a quick uh set of products for them uh we've been able to uh, market that on on a good e-commerce platform which is going live as we speak uh but really it's about refocusing on who the real client is and how the real client is changing okay in the way that they're consuming the packaging. The standard stuff has remained pretty much the same. Obviously, we, we, we look at manufacturing and all of that. But then we started looking at what other markets have uh, been created as a result of the, the situation and are we addressing those markets? And we started addressing those pretty pretty well. So, so that's what's happening in the printing and packaging. 